Teachers in the Ambridge Area School District must decide whether to accept the district's final contract offer. An arbitration panel has recommended that they accept it, that they accept it rather, and tonight the school board voted in favor of it. If they choose to reject it, that could mean a strike is next. All you have to do is say yes and we have a deal. Negotiations between the Ambridge Area School District and the Ambridge Area Education Association have been going on for two years. It all centers around three things, salary, health care, and retirement benefits. We can have labor peace, we can avoid a strike, we can get people paid because they haven't been paid in two years. Under the district's proposed three-year deal, new and mid-level teachers would see the biggest increases in pay. For example, a new teacher making over $40,000 a year would immediately make over $49,000 and be making over $53,000 by the end of the contract. A teacher working in the district for roughly 10 years making over $56,000 would immediately make over $61,000 and then over $65,000 by the end of the deal. There are 186 teachers in the district and they have not had a raise in two years. There was only one person from the Education Association in attendance, and she respectfully declined to speak with us. We did speak with Superintendent Dr. Joe Welter about what may be the sticking point. It does affect the people on the, the lower salary steps much more than the people on the top, um, so I think that that might be the holdup, uh, but it's a very fair deal, and they, they haven't had an increase for two years, and it's really time. We need to get back to the business of teaching kids. According to the board, the health insurance premiums the teachers are being asked to pay are about half of what other administrative employees in the district are paying. I'm not sure that everyone has taken a good hard look at it to understand it. If they did understand it, I really believe that they would agree that it's a good deal. The Education Association will be meeting tomorrow. It's unclear if they'll take a vote or just further discuss it. If they reject it, they are permitted to call a strike and they must give the district 48 hours notice.